skepper te wees. Albert is van ons ongelooflik bevoorig dat hij hier is en ik bedoel het rechtig. Ik heb je jou gestroomd ontmoet en jou baas ontmoet. Eindelijk is hij maar een gewone mens. En ons houdt af van als gewone mensen met speciale boodschappen met ons kunnen spraken. Wees verspreken welkom. Ja, hallo, 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 morgen, morgen. Hoe gaan het? Die pot gieten. Yes. Kom ons allemaal staan voor op en dan zet ons weer. Allemaal staan voor op, trek dit toe. Trek je wel lekker? Ja, bij. Oké, kom ons allemaal zet weer. Het is een heel wakker. Heel gaan, heel gaan, heel gaan. Heel gaan. Oké, who wants to be a millionaire? Oké, who knows how? Who knows how? Oké, who has parents or friends or uncles that can teach them how? Oké, who does not have any parents or friends? Or uncles, that's millionaires or billionaires. Yeah. I was there as well. I was there as well. And that is the problem. We don't know how. And that is why I wrote the book. To help us to know how. To teach us how. Okay, so I'm Albert van Wijk. I come from Pretoria. I went to Hartier's John Foster in Waverley, Rietfontein. I then went to study industrial engineering at the University of Pretoria. I finished my degree in four years, went to work for a year, and then decided to quit my job because it took too much of my time. Okay. And um, then I became a full-time entrepreneur. And during my school time, I always had businesses. In high school, in primary school, I always hustled on the side. I always had small businesses. And throughout university, I always had small businesses. Trying to learn the right techniques, trying to understand the correct mindset, and trying to learn how to become a millionaire. And the most important lesson that my dad taught me was, if you want to become a millionaire, you need to learn from a millionaire. Okay. And that is the issue. We don't know how to, how to become financially independent. We are, we are reliant on our family and friends to teach us financial concepts. And most of the time, our family and friends is in a lower or poor in, income, income state. So people in a lower class or poor income state are teaching us financial concepts. And that is the problem. So that's why I decided, let's write the book and let's help the youth of today to become financially independent by teaching them the correct tools and techniques. And that is what How to Become a Millionaire 22 is all about. Okay, great. So that's a bit about me and a bit about the book. I want to leave two topics with you here today. The first one is the skill of learning. A lot of you feel in school that oh, you get some subjects and you're not ever going to use this stuff in life again. Why am I sitting here in class and studying this? But what I want to bring across today is it's not always about the content. It's about learning how to learn. So if you are able to take a topic, any topic, Afrikaans, geography, maths, or you are, if you are able to take that topic, to study it, to master it, and then to execute, you would be able to take any topic in life and do the same. If it's property investment, if it's a business, a startup on a new technology, anything that you can think of, if you are able to study it, then master it, and then execute, you would be able to thrive in life. So I want to challenge you to take these, I don't know how many topics you have, seven, seven topics that you have at the moment, and try to really study it, and then master it, and then execute, and see if you can do that, and try to get good at that. Because if you get into life, and if you get into real life, 
there's going to be a lot of different topics. And the world is always changing. Next year, there's a new technology, a new business. And if you can capitalize on that, then you can really put yourself in front. So you need to master the skill of learning and then execute. Okay, that's the one topic. Everybody got that? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, the second topic that I want to discuss is success and failure. I work with a lot of students that say, oh, I got bad marks. That means I can't do this. I can't really do it. It's, it's not in me. And I want to speak to that. Your successes or your failures does not define you. When you have a recipe, you put some cake in and some flour and some sugar and you make a recipe, okay? And you put it in the oven. And the other side you get a nice cake, okay? Which you can eat and enjoy. If you mess up the recipe this side, you don't get a nice cake that you can eat and enjoy. But that doesn't mean that you're a bad cook. It only means that you got the recipe wrong. So what I want to bring across is that success is dependent on your input. Similarly, failure is dependent on your input. So if you change the recipe today, you can change the outcome tomorrow. It all depends on your energy, knowledge, time and effort that you put in on this side. And that is what you get out on the other side. So, so if you had bad marks up to now, that doesn't mean that you will have bad marks tomorrow. You can change the recipe today. If you grew up in a poor environment today, it doesn't mean that you have to be poor tomorrow. You can change the recipe and get a different result. And when you see the outcome, when you get the results, you need to have a blueprint at the back of your mind that say, okay, I saw this work now. So I'm putting this in my blueprint. And I saw this didn't work, so I'm putting this in my blueprint. And at the end of the day, you have a blueprint, a plan, that almost guarantees that you can always have success in the future, no matter what you do. Great, how was that one? <laughs>